Hey guys, so unfortunately for the first couple of days of being in London, I hadn't quite wrapped my head around how to use the camera properly, which did mean that I lost a little bit of content, although I was just sort of settling in and finding my bearings, so nothing too exciting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning. Today's Tuesday. Uh, a little bit of change of plans. I was going to go get my nails done, but um, my family are saying actually going over to Whitstable. I don't know, it's like an um, English beach side, so I'm going to head around there with them today, which is super exciting. It's about an hour's drive from here, um, so I thought I might as well just like take the opportunity to go in the car with them. Um, and go see that town because I probably won't do it by myself. It's um, it's kind of cold, so I'm not overly sure how I'm gonna go. So I brought a jumper with me instead. But okay, so I've made it to Whitstable. <laughs> It's actually been really cute though, I'm really enjoying it. But it's like super picturesque, so this is what I'm doing today. <laughs> what happens if everyone comes down here <laughs> and like this is their beach <laughs> which is so funny to me but it's actually really cute so it's like all rocks and then um we popped up a little bit further down but and then they just like play in the water I don't know, workers went and did some grocery shopping um, at like their local Sainsbury's, which is, I guess, our new local uh, supermarket. <sighs> they didn't really have many, if like many vegan or gluten free options, so I still, I think I need to like shop around a bit and find somewhere because the selection's not that great. But I spent, I think, 20 pounds and I have like a full bag of groceries so it's actually kind of like um it's not overly expensive here which is cool hmm anyway that's what I'm up to today nothing much I've just been editing my packing vlog which is exciting so pack with me so I think my first vlog of my new little series is going to be up hopefully tomorrow so keen to see how that goes <laughs> This stuff is literally my favorite. So Gabby and I like drown all of our food in it. And I just got some of the coffee pots that I have. Some of these chocolate crisps, gluten free bread, my avocados, of course. And I'm just listening to um, the wellness with so her podcast. Literally my favorite thing in the world. Um, she's just like such a light beam, such an energy. Good morning! So I'm about to go um, hop on the train and head into London. Um, I've got a few things that I'm doing today. I'm going to go meet up with some family friends that are coming over for the day from Wales, um, which is exciting. I'm going to go to one of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants for some brunch and then I'm doing a little bit of um, work a bit later, which is uh, a really like cool and random gig that um, my brother-in-law has set up for me. So um, I'll bring you I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but um, I'm running late and if I miss this one then I'm going to be an hour and a half late to my, to my reservation, so this is the fit today. This is like a bodysuit from Meshki and just like my jeans. Super Hershey. <laughs> Oh, 
this coming week and they've got a director or producer or someone coming out from New York and he's flying in tonight and he's staying in London for a couple weeks so um, I'm just sort of doing a little bit of like running work for him which I actually think is like super cool it's something different anyway I'm not doing anything for him so I'm just going to his apartment getting it set up for him going to do some grocery shopping for him I've like got a list of like his favorite beers and everything so I'm just gonna go set up the place I just got a little candle for the house just in case it has an odd smell I don't know New music. Okay, so go back to the apartment. Um, I just need to get everything set up and like put everything away for him. And then I literally have like five hours until we get to. Him. So I just have like five hours to kill. But this place has its own rooftop and it is insane. So I'm gonna go sit up there and eat some sushi that I just bought and just chill out for the rest of the day. Shopping in like a new country's grocery store is like the most overwhelming thing ever. Like you just, you like question everything. You're like, oh, I was like, oh, I just need to get yogurt. Easy, sorry, yogurt. Um, easy, easy. No, it's not. There was literally like thousands, even just milk, like just normal milk. There was about a hundred different types of milk, like semi-skimmed, skimmed, normal, and then organic normal. And there was like a million brands in that. And it's just like, like I just, I just, you just don't know. It's, it's so, so strange. Anyway, I do love a cheeky grocery shop. I do love mindlessly, sorry, mindlessly strolling through the aisles um, and looking at things. So, <laughs> not complaining. And then literally, look at this. Oh my god. Look at this place. It is so nice. Holy shit. Wow. Just on the way to go, um, got some dinner from this like, vegan place here from the And I've literally walked everywhere today. I've walked 25,000 steps today, so I'm not super proud of myself. got my dinner and literally just like I can't get over this street. Heading home now and I just realized <laughs> I was like wow I mean like for such a really for like such a nice place it's kind of uh, not that expensive. I got like a vegan pad thai it was like one of their popular dishes and <laughs> paid 15 pounds for it and I was like that's so cheap but I keep forgetting that like that equates to like 30 Australian dollars. So I just paid 30 dollars for a freaking pad thai. So it could have been the best freaking pad thai I've ever had in my entire life. But it was a cute, cute location. I think I'll definitely go back there for dinner in time, but dinner and drinks. And it was super funny because <laughs> the lady at the door, I was like, oh, look, I'm here to, um, for a takeaway order for Liv. And she just looked at me and she was like, can you say all of that again, please? So she just didn't understand my accent. I don't think I sound that Australian, but anyway. For 30 Australian dollars, this better be, be the best thing I've ever freaking eaten in my entire life. Okay, this is my opinion. I may be um, wrong in saying this, but Thai food is one of the only cuisines where like the cheapest stuff is like the best stuff. Like you just cannot get better 
than a like eleven thirteen dollar pad thai from like your local Thai place. Like it's not getting better than that. Like there's just no, you just and being hung and hung over as well. Oh, you just can't get better than that. This this is good, but you can taste that it's like an expensive version. It doesn't. It just doesn't doesn't hit like normal pad thai does. But I'm enjoying it. Good morning, um, it is now Friday morning, which means I've been here exactly a week, which is exciting. Um, however, I did miss my nail appointment this morning, so I haven't quite wrapped my head around the public transport. Okay, I'm just um, about to dry my hair, I had to tone it because it was looking fluoro yellow, um, and I haven't found a hair salon yet, and I don't even know where to begin looking. I'm going to meet up with a mutual friend. Well, I actually met her um, at my Mecca induction a couple of years back and she's now living in the UK so I'm going to meet up with her and her friend tonight and get some dinner and drinks which I'm super excited about. I haven't been out in London yet. I haven't I think I got drunk here yet. Um, I'm super excited to go out for the first time and just like experience I guess the London's nightlife. Alright so um, I'm all ready. I haven't really been up to much today. I've just been sort of hanging around getting myself organized a little bit i do have like a um phone call with a job recruitment agency like the australian job recruitment agency in london um and i think i might have lined something up for next week to do um i'm not entirely sure yet so i'm waiting to hear a little bit about that which is exciting um fortunately the place uh, that I've my nails at seems super nice and they have let me reschedule my appointment to a little bit later in the day. So it's now like two o'clock, I think, and I'm gonna head into London. The appointment's at 4.30, and then I'm meeting the girls at six, which is exciting. So I'll bring you guys along to that. Um, haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do down on my nails, so I'm gonna start, but this is the fit. I'm wearing like this bodysuit from Glass End, and I haven't decided whether I'm gonna wear my like houndstooth brown hounds tooth or leather jacket okay this is the final fit i don't know it's like is this clashing like i don't think it is i think it's like kind of cool like i know it's like two very different patterns but like they kind of complement the outfit i don't know i'm just gonna go with it i don't really care um i've seen some really whack shit being worn here and i don't think anyone's in the mood for judging so i love that and so i don't oh my god look at my nails gross but this is what <laughs> pounds look like so I just find that I had planned on getting if you didn't have the colours, like they only really had pink and like browns. So that was a bit frustrating. So I had to on the spot really decide, but it was really cool seeing that they, they like the way that they build a complex is very different to Sydney. Actually, it's not that different, but like it's a little bit different. And so yeah, anyway, the girl was super nice. And they came up with this design together, kind of on the spot. I'm super excited to have my nails back. I'm in a black cat. I'm just going to go ahead and head into the room. All my friends are sort of going to be apparently super fun. Everyone's going to be telling me, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> are you using those chopsticks? <laughs> <laughs> It's now Saturday morning, so I think I'm gonna uh, wrap up the vlog here. I had a really good night last night meeting some people in London. I haven't obviously gone out before in London and nightlife, so nightlife, sorry, but it was it was an experience. Um, I'm sure there's like heaps of cool places. I've got a heap of stuff planned for this week coming, which is exciting. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. 
Um, stay tuned to see what I get up to. Hopefully I make some new friends, get up to some stuff. Um, I'm also, I need to start buying a little bit of furniture and some decor for the room. I just want to make it a little bit more like my own space. At the moment I feel like I'm just like staying in someone's house, which like I guess I am, but I kind of want to um, get get my room sort of together a bit. So I'm going to bring you guys along to that. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.